I'm changing things. Over the years, I've had a few drum kits. The one that got me started, the one that got me going, and the new one that has ushered in a new chapter. Each one of these drum sets has their own story and sentimental value to me, but each one of these kits shares the same problem. They're, they're really loud. So my solution to all of these things has brought me to something that I have never done or never had in my entire 15 years of playing drums. Wow, 15 years, that's yikes. But that has led me to get my first electronic drum kit. It is a Pearl Emerge drum kit. We'll talk more about the kit in a second, but I wanna talk about why I'm actually deciding to get an electric drum set. Because yeah, I have this whole space, it's sound treated, with an amazing drum kit, why would I need an electric kit? Well, there are three things that I'm looking at here. The first thing is that I've been trying to rearrange my practice schedule. And by rearrange, I mean get something a lot more consistent. For me, I am someone who operates well earlier in the morning, but I don't want to be a complete jerk and come into the studio and blast drums at 7 a.m. and wake all my neighbors up. Even though this is well treated, I don't wanna take the risk of just being a complete jerk. So if I have an electronic kit in the upstairs of this studio, that would completely solve that problem and I wouldn't have to wake anyone up. It would be awesome. Second reason is I took a poll to all the DBO Academy members just to see, hey, what are you playing? Are you playing an acoustic kit or an electronic kit? And 50% of the members are playing electronic kits. And so this kind of made me realize I have no content for people who play electronic kits. So I need to start incorporating a little bit more of that so that I can help serve you guys even better. And the third reason is it's just really fun to play electronic drum kits. And I think that can help your practice that much more too, is having more fun with new sound. So I'm really just looking forward to having a new experience with the drums as a whole. So let's take a look at these boxes real quick. I think right here we have the bass drum pads as well as the hardware. It looks like this is uh, the pad set in the module. And apparently this is really heavy, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't fully know what is inside, but I cannot wait to open these up. So let's get into it. So now that we got all these drums out of the boxes and laid on the floor, it's time to put them together. Those were heavier than I was thinking. Okay, so far my instructions are mount each pad in the module on the rack. What? Apparently there's a separate sheet with assembly instructions, so let's find that. It's not that. Ah, this is the good stuff. All right, looks like we're starting off with the rack. I think we can do this. So there are two types of people in this world. There's the type of person who, when they are setting something up, they read all the directions and there's the other type of people who are like me, who just kind of look at the pictures and say, yeah, this looks right. And a lot of times we have to redo things, but it feels like it's faster in the moment. So I think we're doing great. So remember that one time when I said, some people just look at the pictures and then maybe get stuff wrong? Well, I got some stuff wrong that I need to switch this entire rack, this pole needs to go here. And uh, there are big consequences for that. So, oh, we're gonna try to do this as smooth as we can. Oh my goodness. Oh God. Uh, okay, well, and just like that, it's all over. All right, we're here to the bass drum where we've got these 
confusing configurations here. And uh, we're gonna try to figure out how the heck we're gonna set this up. Oh boy, we got screws and stuff. All right, now I see. All right, now something I'm not used to is uh, plugging stuff in inside my bass drum, kind of weird. Now that we have all the weird stuff taken care of, I think we're just putting heads on, putting this together. So let's make this a little bit more interesting. Now we fully have this beautiful kit all set up. I mean, look at this thing. It is looking absolutely sick. So like I said, I'm new to the e-kit world. So I'm gonna get acclimated. I'm gonna save you the trouble of watching me just turn a bunch of knobs. But once I start to settle in a little bit, we'll demo the kit out. Okay, actually, I lied. The first thing you have to do with an e-kit is play without any headphones on because it just feels good. And these pads have slightly different tones, which I really, I really like. All right, now I'm, I'll put some headphones in and actually play with it, but this is a blast. So I think I'm just gonna start off messing around with some of the acoustic kits and then we'll probably start getting a little more experimental. Right now, I'm recording just using this iRig. This goes into the brain of the electronic kit, and then I'm just recording it on voice memos on my phone. So it's not like the most in-depth recording setup, but it just allows me to get audio into my phone. So we'll do that for now. Ooh! What? Also, I found out you can do cross sticks. Pretty sick. Yeah. A little bit of Phil Collins here. I need. So to show you a little bit of what's going on here is the brain has these different settings here. So I'm on natural and I'm just kind of scrubbing through these right now. Um, and then it will kind of take me to modern, to studio, to vintage, stuff like that. And then uh, we'll get into some of the electronic stuff. But I'm also still learning and still getting a better feel for it. So that's all I know for right now. All right, we've moved into the modern section. And it work. There we go. so cool how just hearing different sounds makes you play different things. That's what I really love about the e-kit so far. Interesting. Super short snare. Fat old toms. All right, you can get a fat snare sound.
That's a cool one. All right, now we're on the studio section. More controlled. This one's called Power Ballad. Vintage. Vintage metal. Let's go to electronic. So I'm very excited about my new venture into the electric kit world. I know there's a bunch of you who are already in that world. Let me know in the comments section below if you are one of them. But whether you're playing an electric kit or an acoustic kit, I have an amazing free course for you called The Drummer's Guide to Getting Unstuck. If you are feeling stuck on the drum kit and you can't make progress, this six part free course will totally help you out. So click right here to sign up for that free course. But if not, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and I'm excited to make new things on the electric kit that is upstairs. But this kit is awesome, too. Stay true. Thanks again, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.